So finally, this time it's for real. Te Aoroa National Park is out on PC and I've been super excited to get out here and just have the opportunity to hunt these animals and actually keep any trophies that we actually have in the Trophy Lodge because I think it's quite well documented that the Trophy Lodge is one of the biggest things that keeps me coming back to this game and the opportunity to add any kind of trophies to that, especially new ones, is always something I look forward to with the new maps, but I went ahead and set my loadout actually before I came here, so I had the Mosin to hunt the chamois that I knew would be here at the starter lake from playing on the beta, and we're just going to go ahead and get the outpost, which should be somewhere not far from the lookout. It might be right there. A lot of times, for some reason, the little, like, lighted areas on the map are where outposts are, and I don't have a clue why that actually happens, but we'll claim our first chamois here. Not anything special at level 3. But I think that is the Honeytones fur type, and it is. Just 0.3 shy of gold. Would have been nice to start out with a gold, but better than starting out last time and chasing a poorly hit one up the mountain, so maybe we're starting off even better. And we'll check and see if that's actually the outpost location. It would be nice to save time getting it on the way. And that was actually it, so that'll save us a bit of time. And I'm probably going to make the time feral goat drink time, because Shammy are about done anyway. And the path that I want to take, I think, is going to be mostly like feral goat territory. I want to go up through the end of this lake and then to the river where we saw a ton of them. And maybe we can find some fallow deer as well. So we'll get that set and we'll head off. It's definitely good to see the goats are actually out here because I was a little bit worried they might not be here yet. I noticed a lot on the beta that they were coming in really slowly to their zones and it seemed like they would get there like maybe later than they should. But these guys are all out here. And I think the best one was that first one over here, this guy right here. So that is going to be another one for the Mosin. Just go ahead and take a shot at that guy. That is a interesting horn shape he's got going on. It's almost like he's got one of the bigger horns and one of the smaller. And actually, for whatever reason, these guys aren't fleeing very quickly. I don't know if we can try to get a shot into that guy's head, but... I don't know if that'll bring them down or not. It must have been enough, whatever it was, because there are two bits of hunting pressure. But I want to see. I think it is the same horn shape, just kind of twisted in different directions. Quite an interesting first feral goat, but it is a gold. And, I mean, like I said at the beginning, this one is for real, so taking out that other male as he was running away, that's just going to be an opportunity for respawns. And actually, also, I noticed as I ran over here, it's going to bring us right by that tower. And we might as well build that on our way. So, tower is built, and I think these are new. I don't remember on any of the other maps, like, having that, like, walkway up to it. They're similar to the ones that started out on Parquet, but not quite the same. And then the blood from that goat is going to be right here, and I bet he's not far. I'm going to assume that he was on his way back, and he's actually right there, so didn't even take that long. That's the nice thing about shooting two. Like, we could go and claim the other one first, and... Knowing that we hit this guy poorly, I figured he would kind of just, like, start coming back. And that's exactly what he did. We hit too low, but looking at the angle, we were not on to hit him in the head anyway, so that might have been best. So this area along the river was my favorite spot on the beta for both feral goat and fallow deer. And I'm sure you can see why. There are just a ton of them all in this tiny area, and it's not like just this one spot. Down the river further... There are a bunch of feral goat zones, and I'm curious to see what we're going to find as we go down across here, but there was that one in here, this white one. It's only up to 204, so it's not going to be like a diamond level 4 or anything, but it is a good size. And we'll go ahead and try to take that out with a Mosin. I think just like that should get into a lung. Might have been double lung even, the speed he went down, but yeah, I wanted to mention it, just in case you guys want to go and check it out. I made a quick guide for this map this morning. And it included my favorite spots for all the new species, plus, I think, red deer and fallow deer. So if you want to see that, uh, that video is linked in the description. But that's going to be our first solid feral goat. Still a good bit shy of diamond, about 20 below. And I don't think these are the biggest horns, because we shot that level 5 actually in the quick guide. So not too much of a spoiler, it ends up being a troll, but pretty sure it was bigger than that. So hopefully there's going to be even better ones along this river. That guy looks super similar to the level 5 that we shot. And he's only up to 206, so still not going to be a diamond. I need to check. I think that's just the dark brown fur type, same as this guy. Because I thought that might have been melanistic, but... That is definitely one to take. 
and we're actually low on time, so we're going to leave him lay there, and we're going to go down probably all the way to the bridge, and then we'll loop back and claim whatever that we haven't gotten, because I don't want to miss out on some drink zones. And somehow that guy has technically an estimate that could make diamond, but it doesn't look like he has diamond horns at all. But I mean, we're coming back to that spot. Might as well just get him too. If nothing else, just for respawns. And at this point, I think we'll just go ahead and actually drop that guy too. Because again, we gotta go through there. And we're actually getting quite close to kind of the end of the area where, like, there's a lot of feral goats in Fallow. I know there were more zones along here, but the outpost is somewhere up in this area. So we'll go and get that, and then we'll cross and claim our goats, because the Fallow Deer drink time is actually over. So I'm not sure we're going to see much else till we go and claim those and go check out some other areas. And that went pretty much exactly as expected. There was nothing else along the river all the way down to the bridge, but we'll go and claim our three goats here. Like I said, if nothing else, it's going to be respawns. And I do want to see what that level 4 we shot's going to look like, because he was pretty good sized. And also there was this one, which went up to like 212. He's 187. I don't know that I saw this horn shape before. It really doesn't have the spiral as much. Like, till all the way at the end? It's actually a pretty big one, though. I didn't think he'd really score... I guess 183 was the minimum, but still. That's a good-sized goat. The one that is definitely going to one-up him is this guy, 200.5. Definitely good size. It's pretty much the exact same size as the one that I talked about in the quick guide. They look really good. I can't wait to get a diamond one, but... Not too bad. Heart shot him at 214. And I think the plan is gonna be we're gonna change the time to feral pig drink time and go and check this area, because it had a lot of pigs. That was one of the areas that I showed as a hot spot for them in my quick guide, so we'll go and give that area a look. And I brought tents with me. There's no outposts in that area that I'm aware of. There actually could be one that I didn't see while playing on the beta, but either way I think I'm gonna put a tent up there too. So far I'm just seeing a couple of pigs by themselves. I imagine there's herds of them somewhere, but there's a level 2 over here, and at least this level 3 black gold can be a gold, so I think this will be our first shot with the 303. And kinda as expected, just dropped him right there. And I also noticed on my way in, there is a set of burrows right there, and it's in a perfect spot because I've got my tent straight south of there, and if I put a tripod just a little bit closer to the burrows, we'll be able to just check them as we go for pigs, but... Got another one out there, actually a couple. Another one with a chance of making gold. You know, I placed a lot of focus on the brown fur type feral pig, and I definitely do want to get a diamond one, but a diamond black gold would be pretty cool as well. They're not rare like the black gold wild boar, but they do actually look pretty nice. And actually, speaking of the brown fur type, I believe that's what that guy is. But I think we'll just go ahead and take him from here. The 303 is pretty capable at range. Might have been a hard shot, the speed that health went down, but still. Ooh. And that guy just wandered down. He must have heard the shot. But that's a bonus. And that was the brown fur type. It also was a heart shot, so not bad. I don't think I've done that very much. They kind of have a heart, like, it's just placed straight behind the leg there, and it's kind of tough to get into, but got that one. And then that fallow deer... There's no chance it made diamond. I think 250 was the max, and I'm pretty sure 251 was diamond, but definitely good for respawns. I know level 4s can make it, but that's definitely not the right rack. But even 217, it's not bad. And I have seen, as I was walking over here, a good number of pig zones around here. Like, if we look at the map, you can see it's pretty much just surrounded with them. We just happen to have a bunch of, like, solo pigs. If we had a couple of herds, there'd be a ton down in here, but... I think there was one somewhere, I don't know exactly where, he had an estimate up to like 124 or something, it was just a 3, but it would have almost been a guaranteed gold, I'm just not sure where he was. That's the one that I wanted to get, he must have been just in this brush, I had to go all the way around just to get eyes on him, but he should make gold, I'd like to at least have like one gold of all the stuff that we're going after, so let's head down, we'll just kind of put a shot in there, I'm kind of surprised. He didn't drop, but maybe we got, like, vertebrae in one lung. Oh, hello. Don't know where you're headed, but that's not going to be to the same bros. Don't know if we can 
get that. I feel like we hit it. I'm actually not sure. There's a couple of them running around here. A couple of decent males, but I've been here before. And I always struggle to actually hit them. We got that guy. I don't think we got the one that made it in the burrow. I guess we did. So I had that happen before where I thought I hit it. And it disappeared. So I guess I just didn't. That's kind of good to know. But got a gold rabbit. That is... Just gonna screenshot that. Don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but that's a new one. So there's two burrow locations then around this lake. I really like that because I felt like this was definitely the best place for feral pigs. And for fallow deer, it's right up there with the river. So it'll be an area that I'm in a lot anyway. And you know, as we're shooting the pigs and we can go to other areas and clear pressure, I don't feel like we're ever gonna get too much here because there are several burrows. That's actually looking pretty good for an area to hunt them, because I like them, but I haven't enjoyed them enough to spend a lot of time on Hirschfeld, but we're going to be here anyway for a while, so maybe we can get a Diamond Euro Rabbit out of that, but uh, there's our gold, brown fur type once again. 103 is definitely not bad, but actually, that's pretty much all I wanted to do as far as this area, so I think we're going to move on to Sika. We'll actually fast travel... Probably just to here to make it shorter. And we'll take the quad and run down. I guess there's an outpost somewhere. I think it's right here. And then we'll go to this spot, because that was definitely my favorite uh, from the beta. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, but they seem to be just now walking into their zone. Which is probably helpful. Because the ones that drink on this side, it would be tough to kind of spot them coming down through the forest. So that might have helped us get that guy, which I think is going to be a gold, but... That seems to be a thing on this map, just pretty much all the animals seem to be late getting into their zone. And I'm not sure if it's something to do with fast traveling or like what actually causes it, but like we drove all the way across here. It's nine o'clock now, so they should all be, you know, their zone time should have started. But yet they're kind of just walking in, so I don't know what does it, but either way, I think it helped us here. And that guy was a gold. And I still haven't actually seen if the level threes can make it. It's only seven shy, so they might be able to. And I do expect there to be more around here, but I'm not sure if they're going to be in their zones yet, so we better kind of take it slow. There's a bunch of females over there. At least they're drinking already. I'd say that'll pretty much answer that question, because that's a level three that's 136 to 177. And I believe gold was 136. So we'll take him just to be certain. Could be a decimal there keeping him away from gold. But I think even still, there's going to be a chance that level 3s can make it. And that guy's 139 to 181, so how do we look a little closer? There's a definite gold. I think we should be good. I can't imagine that being spinal cord, so we have one one way or another. So the first one is actually a gold at 151. Made it by quite a lot. I didn't realize he was the dark spotted variation, but just kind of shot him spinal cord and lung. And the other guys actually a lot closer to him than I realized. They're kind of small animals, so they don't cover as much ground as it seems like, but actually only 141 for him, so we shot the bigger one first either way, but both made gold. So that's definitely good to know that they can. And I think, probably because we've actually done a lot of hunting already, the last thing we're going to go and do is go and check the chamois hotspot, because it would be a shame to not go and see how many are up there, especially when we're quite near kind of the best way to go up there. I just like to go up the road, because from this side, you can kind of see all the ones at this lake. So we'll get the outpost north of us and go and check that spot. It definitely looks like this spot is as good in the live game as it was in the beta. Just chamois going all over the place. And it's difficult to even spot them all, but there is a leucistic in there. The rares actually aren't really rare right now, so I'm not too worried about that. That's a decent four. It might be the best over there. And we might as well check the other side before we go take any shots, because I figured there'd be some there too. But I think that four is going to be the best one. It's crazy, the more you look, the more it just keeps showing up, but I think that's as good as we're going to get, so if we can actually get a shot in there, that might be a little bit challenging. Kind of had a little bit of a gap between them, and I'm not sure if he dropped or where he went. I guess we got him. That's not a very big level 3, but 
just since we're going to be going that way anyway, we might as well just try to get him too. It'll just be good for respawns eventually. It looks like this guy kind of just disappeared into this little dip and then went down. He's the gray-brown fur type, which is probably my second favorite right now. Still about 8 below diamond, but good size 4, max weight estimate. And we have that other 3 to go get, but nothing super special here. I think that actually does show the fact that, you know, diamond shammy are actually quite rare, because we've been here on the beta, we've been here now in the live game, and as many as there are, there's not even a lot of, like, the max estimate force. I think that's only the second or third one I've seen in total. But as many as there are down at this lake, I actually think the other one might be better. So we actually shot another gray-brown. They have... Oh, never mind. I thought they had a beard, but his tongue is, like, sticking through the bottom of his mouth. That's kind of weird. But just going to ignore that and go to this lookout because I still think that's just the best place to see everything up here. I don't think we spooked any getting up here because I really made sure to go slow just so we could see. That's a good size 4, but it's not nearly as insane as it was on the beta, which is probably a good thing. I mean, there's still a lot of chamois up here, but it's not like the 30, 40 in one area like it was before. But I guess before that one takes off, we might as well take that with the Mosin. It's that guy right there. The good news is he's kind of just walking away, so he'll eventually turn back. So he kind of just wandered up there and started drinking again. That was a bit of an odd animation, but I've seen like the Ivex and Mouflon do it, so they might have a similar animation to them, but that's at least our second max weight estimate chamois, so maybe good for respawns. And actually, before we leave, I need to survey this. And then we have our second good size chamois today. That guy's probably a little closer to diamond weight. I don't understand what's dark brown about this fur type, unless for some reason they're just counting that, but you'd think it would be more like light brown looking at the rest of them but pretty much the exact same size as the other. I don't know, maybe still two kilos below diamond? But definitely not bad. I feel like in this hunt, we didn't kill anything worth putting in the trophy lodge, but we definitely have kind of a good sort of starting point for future hunts. We have a lot of the outposts unlocked, like any of these locations that we haven't gotten to. We have somewhere nearby that we can start at and get up to those, and I'm looking forward to, like I said, just exploring this map more, hunting it more, and eventually getting trophies for the lodge, because... Like I said at the beginning, that's like the big thing that I'm always looking forward to with these maps. But I think that is going to do it for our first hunt here on Te Aoroa National Park. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.